Welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times.
a reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Go on, get it. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Uh, can we do this later? Man, this job is boring me to tears. Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. Hey, catch me later. We'll we'll talk about that science stuff some more. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I'm on duty right now. Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? Oh, sorry, Doc. I have to stay at my post. There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. I can't, but maybe later. Hey, catch me later. You, me, and Calhoun will go out and get that beer he owes you. Sorry, Mr. Freeman, I'm on duty right now. Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey. 
Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Please go But the thermal protection system is here. You're living in TPS report. That experiment is single handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Heavens, I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Just a minute. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. And the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say... That suit certainly flatters your fundament. Later, Gordon. I hope things return to normal. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Freeman. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down.
Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. so good as to climb up and start the rotors. That way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
long anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is <laughs> Let's mo 
immobilized. I'll stay here and guard this area. All right, I'm ready. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. <coughs> this shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Anybody out there? This is Sector C.
Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Okay, I'm ready. Haven. Oh, well, at any rate, I've had my fill for excitement today. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. Yes, I'll secure the perimeter. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. You? Is it safe? Ah! Oh. Oh dear. I do believe I
Oh, Gordon. If I had known it was you, I would have put you in. Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Right? You're heading out there? By yourself? May God have mercy on your soul. I'm staying here. I don't want the chance missing the evacuation team. I owe you one. Uh, here, let me get this open. I, uh, I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, go take a look-see, see what you can carry. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, man. Level is 100%. Let me get out of your way, there. That's right, child time. <laughs> like that. Sorry, Freeman. Let me get out of your way. Well, Doc, got any ideas? Duck, let's tear some shit up. Oh, that was awkward. Well, so much for wishful thinking. Alright, you scout on up ahead. I'll secure this area. If you can't make it back around, don't sweat it. Just keep going. Power level is 100%.
Okay, why not? I didn't want to die alone anyway. Glad to see someone else made it in this mess. Uh, you first. I'll secure this area. All right, let's move. Watch your head, Doc. Oh, these things give me the heebie-jeebies. them to pieces. Scared, are you? Like that? Huh? I just overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived. They're coming to rescue us. Of course, I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. Be careful up ahead. You scout on ahead. I'll stay here. This looks like a safe place. Godspeed, Doctor.
What are you still doing down here? Get topside. I hear troops are coming in to save us. All right, let's go. I think we have guests.
Heavens, you gave me quite a scare. Don't count on the cavalry finding us down here, Doc. We gotta head for the surface. But with all the elevators out of order, we can still climb. You know where to find me. Lead the way, Freeman. See you later. I'm ready. Let's do this before I lose my nerve. Squash that little bastard! Let's see how you like this. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 